uh, as a teacher, I, th I think that the first thing to choose is uh, what kind of life do I want? Do I want a life where I have uh, some fulfillment? Or do I want a life where I simply escape and manage? Once you decide you want a life which is worth living, which is fulfilling, your question is what should I do in my classroom situation? It's not going to be easy because we are in a transition. Any teacher who tries to do anything seriously would will face a problem from somewhere or the other. But then again, you are a pioneer, so that's the way to look at it. Uh, I would look at a single point, which is this. There is a thing in the class which is called the engagement time. And the opposite of it is something called the waiting time. So let me first talk about waiting time. That will make it easier. Suppose I am a teacher and I give mathematical sums to, to be solved. Uh, two children will understand and they will quickly do it and they will keep waiting. But some 25 children will not understand what to do. They will keep thinking teacher will come or explain. They couldn't come regularly or they have a language problem or they didn't know, don't know the previous concept, whatever. And the teacher doesn't know that they have not fully understood and he doesn't go to them. So they also keep waiting. At the most, the teacher will shout and say, why are you not doing? They will do something, they will do it badly. So, waiting time is that time when a student is in the class, but not learning. The opposite of it is, when the student is mentally, fully and emotionally engaged, involved, doing something. Uh, it may be talking, it may be writing, it may be reading, it may be exploring, doing an experiment, doing an activity, finding out things, whatever. It can be any hundreds of things. But the student is has a sense of purposeful engagement. So if I am a teacher, my first question is, I, I would say, I don't care about results, about syllabus, about exams, about anything. My objective is that for the time that I am in the class, my learner should be as much engaged as possible. How do I do it? That's the point. If you want to do that, you should ask yourself three things. That keeping in mind, uh, you should know what I am supposed to teach at this point of course. But keeping that in mind, ask yourself, what do my students already know about this? For example, if I were to teach uh, decimals, are decimals applied in real life anywhere? And they are. So if they are applied, then my, if I am in a, a rural area, then my students will encounter decimals in one way. If I am in an urban area, they will encounter it in another way. I must know what my students know. So thinking about my students helps. Then I can convert that into an interesting challenge or an entry point and play a game or an activity which invites them. The second thing I need to know is what do my students enjoy? What kind of things do they like? What kind of challenges do they enjoy? And I can then create an activity around that. And the third thing I have to know is what do my students dislike? What are they uncomfortable with? What do they find boring? And if I have to do something like that, how can I convert that into less boring and more exciting thing? So if I ask myself these three things, and if I know what my students have to learn at that time, then I can create a classroom that is truly engaging and that is truly involving. And why I said don't worry about the syllabus, results and all, because you will get results. But if you start from that end and you don't worry about these things, you will not get so if I was a teacher, my objective would be to have an engaging, fulfilling, enjoyable day for myself, joyful teaching, and uh, make sure that my students are fully involved and engaged. And a lot of the time, this is uh, less work. For instance, if I create a, a very exciting uh, a game or, or a task, for example, uh, if I give my children three consonants and two vowels and I say make as many words as you can out of me, then I'll find for 25 minutes they're busy, then what should I do? I will work with the child who's getting left behind. So I become free. I can do what I like doing. I can help the, some children more. I can prepare for the next task or next class. And my advice to teachers is uh, be smart, work less, achieve more.